Now, we talk about API security a lot these days because we kind of live in an API-driven world. No matter what we do, there is an API going from here to there. And there are a lot of companies who are fully focused on API security only. Uh, sometimes when I look at the space, looks like API security is more or less like an additional bolt on at the edge versus part of the holistic approach to security. Do you see this expansion as part of a broader shift where API security becomes a core pillar of app architecture, not just a bolt on at the edge? And, you know, I, I truly believe that API security is part of a broader, you know, security strategy and it's, and it's a key pillar. So a lot of times, you know, companies look at, as we talked about, you know, applications in general, but that's, that's really broad. And that's why, you know, for example, you have OWASP top 10 API versus, you know, an application because APIs have their specific risks. So, ignoring you know api security or bolting on later on might not work as well as thinking of it as holistically like looking at your entire uh, uh security strategy looking at applications looking at segmentation um, looking at apis all sorts of things need to work together as this layer layer on, again defense in depth uh, uh approach to security versus, you know, treating a, this as a silo, treating applications as a silo, treating a segmentation as a silo, treating you know, every aspect um, of security as its own silo. You need to be able to share the threats. Like one of the things, for example, you know, we do great. Uh, we take a lot of the threat information, threat intel from broader Akamai because we have this visibility and implement it in our solution. So if we see something on the left side, you know, somebody is, you know, going after your firewalls, we can actually ingest this data and say, aha, these IP ranges are suspicious. So if we see traffic from them, that raises the risk, um, you know, potentially for an API. Uh, and we can say, hey, this API might be getting abused. We know that this IP is a dangerous one. It comes from this specific particular region and it's known for, uh, you know, some other attacks that we saw in other part of the enterprise. And since we are talking about AI, we have not even gone deeper and talked about AI. We kind of, you know, AI has become the hottest topic, Gen AI. Yeah. And uh, when we look at agent to agent or agentic AI, it's all about APIs. Uh, Looking ahead, how do you see API security evolving in the context of AI-powered applications and autonomous systems? Absolutely, 100%. Just uh, you know, a couple of uh, months ago, we released the capability to actually tell you which APIs are uh, interacting with your uh, Gen AI, like uh, LLMs uh, and Gen AI uh, apps to give you the visibility of, by the way, you know, these APIs are important. They're exchanging a, a lot of the information. We recently released a, a whole different solution. It's called Firewall for AI. And that is really focused on protecting these AI types of, uh, or AI powered applications that use Gen AI. Um, they put in guardrails, they have, you know, input protections, they look at all the data that's being exchanged. It's an extraordinary uh, product. But what's interesting is that we actually feed into the firewall for AI, right? We tell, hey, these are the APIs, these are the exchanges of the data that you need to be looking at and protecting. So we are the foundation right without without us so you know firewall wouldn't know what to protect again firewalls are just firewalls they, they they look at something that you tell them to do so we feed in the information and say hey these you know 10 apis super important they interact with llms put the guardrails on these ones right and that helps the organization so we have the easy button to feed this information in uh, and protect you from this next new, new generation of uh, threats that are coming down 